Hey, what is up everybody? It's the Scientific Doctor. Now I'm going to be playing the Rider White DLC. It's a solo DLC for Dead Island, and it's the story of Rider White, the uh, main protagonist, or antagonist, I think, in uh, this game. And I actually kind of like the DLC, just because it's really difficult. So I'm going to go into a new game here, and we'll start it right up. Uh, there he is. <clears throat> Uh, no animations or movements or anything for him. It's straight up default. Um, and let's do it. No voice either. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll get right into it. It's a single player. Yeah, I'll continue. Alright. So, I haven't played this in a while. July so I'm gonna listen to this. Interviewing Ryder White, it's actually a pretty cool cutscene too. It's actually a to pretty questions. good story. Yes, sir. Are you prepared to follow any and all orders from your commanding officer? Of course, sir. Are you prepared to kill the enemy without hesitation? Yes, sir. If necessary for the greater good, are you prepared to kill civilians? Yes, sir. Are you prepared to kill this enlisted man? Yes, sir. This fellow officer? Yes, sir. This young girl? Yes, sir. Will you kill this woman? Yes, sir. Interesting. You think he won't push the button because of her? He hesitated, which is why he was reassigned to Banoi. So who is she? His wife. Can we get her to the island? She is already there. She's been there six months now, and I believe she is the best chance we have to slow him down. Okay, so that was actually pretty cool. I know there's more, but I just wanted to mention real quick. That's actually a pretty cool idea that they have going here, that it goes way deeper, and it's all, like, government-based and riders in on it, you know? I actually well, really like that idea. I guess. That looks like a uh, favela from Modern Warfare 2. It really does. So yeah, he turned into a zombie and we crashed a helicopter. But you know what? Rider White's gonna live. He's gonna live. Don't really like that the mouse cursor is still there at the bottom right. I don't appreciate that. I wish it would have gone away, to be honest. But, whatever. It's fine. Alright, so we're waking up. I actually like this DLC too, because it's all just night, and it's... it's really dark. I don't know. Something about it. It's just, there's dark, it's on fire. And plus, it's actually difficult. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but there are a ton of infected in this, if I remember correctly. There are just an insane amount of infected that come after you. The only uh, bad thing is, is that um, uh, you're a default level. This is Colonel Ryder White. You're only like level 24, and you can't get like super weapons or level up or anything. Are you hurt, Colonel? I'm all right. I just banged up a bit. Has Unit 4 been evacuated yet? If not, have them pick me up on the way back from the bridge. Over. Sorry, sir. We lost contact with Unit 4 in Zone 1 before they managed to reach the target. What are you saying? They didn't blow the bridge yet? Jesus Christ! <sighs> All right. I'll reconnoiter the area and see if I can locate them. Over and out. Copy that, Colonel. Watch your back, sir. All right. Just trying to get that extra dialogue in there. Not bad though, I actually like this DLC so far. Just, it's the fact that it's solo and not co-op, that they can really work on getting it to be about one character, like how it affects one character, and I really like that. 
Uh, what we got here? Filmsy crowbar, a belt, energy drink. Oh, I'm not overpowered as the NMA with health packs anymore. Alright, so let's check it out. Level 15. You just default level 15. That's all you got. And you don't really have any mods. You can pick some up. There are a couple. And there are a couple that are actually unique to uh, Rider White DLC, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't really see an objective. I guess I was just supposed to go over there. Hmm. Nope. Search. I'm going to take my time, though, and definitely try and get as powerful as I can be for a default level 15. I don't think there's actually any, like, colored weapons, like green, blue, or purple, or orange. I'm, per I'm really sure that there are not orange weapons, unless you, um, somehow, like, buy them or craft them, which I doubt you can do. Crap, I fell off. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just the looks of this right here, this DLC, like, looks pretty good. The aesthetics and how, um, everything's just burnt and crashed and everything. I like it. I'm gonna go over here. Hopefully I can make this jump. Yeah! Alright, there we go. Made it. Crouch. Good. Good. Uh, we got a flimsy wrench, or ordinary wrench. Okay, we can do this. We can, oh, there's a mod. See? There are a couple, and a couple that you can recognize, like Shocking Crowbar. Now, I did not make this during our playthrough, and I don't think Scuffers ever did, but it's actually a really good mod, and I'm going to definitely use it for this crowbar. They kind of want you to use it at that point, because they give you a crowbar right away, and the mod right away. Oh, oh. Let go of me! <laughs> Uh, I do have the stomp, sweet. I wonder if there's a upgrade list for Rider. Nope, there is no... They didn't even decide to give you a list of what you have and what you don't have. Oh, that's cool. And plus, this is the exact same uh, city that the other people went through. So, like Zianmei and Logan and all of them. So, there's actually differences, though now that they've been through here i believe they've been through here oh, already what a bloody shit, from what i've collected from playing this and looking at the story all the main characters have already been through here and we moved on to like the jungle or something because obviously you don't find a helicopter crashed in the city i move away from the suicider there we go so yeah, you don't find a crashed helicopter in the city, so I'm assuming that it's just already happened. Now as for um, the one dude being infected, blah blah blah, I don't know why they're trying to blow up bridges after, because the infection could have already spread. I'm not, I'm not sure. I know I'm kind of blabbering on, but I'm just trying to get bearings on this where this story is happening time-wise compared to the original four. Electronic scrap. Don't think there's anything back here. We got a broken fire hydrant, more more stuff. But yeah, it's just it seems like it's a redone city. Like uses the same outline and everything, but they changed around barriers and stuff. Uh I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the wrench. I think it's better. It's just got better handling. Half a click from the location where we airdrop weapons for Unit 6. Alright, so we're getting closer to the airdrop thing the guy said. What is that? Oh, it's a teddy bear. <laughs> Alright, pick up the money. Oh, baseball bat. So yeah, as I said, I'm pretty sure there's like, not colored weapons. So I'll just be having ordinary weapons that can deplete pretty fast. Oh, so this is, um, kind of near the church, actually. Yeah. It actually looks different. Unless they just tried to use this as a different part of town. Because that over here is kind of where we would always go towards the police station. And they definitely redesigned it because 
there there should be a ladder up here, but there isn't. And I do apologize if Scruffers tries to uh, spam me here, but I'm trying to focus on this DLC. Hopefully he realizes that I'm not just playing this to play this. Alright, there we go. Killed him. Take care of him. Wristwatch. Getting a ton of items, which is very nice. So, I don't know if anything is up here. I know it's a crate, but I don't know if anything valuable. Large battery, large battery, grenade, grenade. Ah, this will come in handy. Frail crowbar, is that better than this one? Yes it is, nice. So when, once I find a workbench, I'll, I'll get on that. Okay, so this is kind of when it's first breaking out, because they're doing like military issues and military Ryder, warnings and stuff. Emily. Things are going from bad to worse here. The prisoners started rioting when we Plus lost she's, control of the infected. She's really not we barricaded or ourselves something. inside here and are trying to hold out until the rescue helicopter arrives. I want you on that chopper mm. first, Emily. You understand me? No heroics. Hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna repair this. I'm going to which one's better? 171, 155, 157. Alright, so I'm gonna upgrade this. Shocking crowbar. I'm missing wires. So once I'm able to, I'll get on that. But I also want to upgrade this machete because machetes are durable and they do a ton of damage. So we got that. We got this. Right here. Alright, so left and right. Um. Hmm. Bleach. Okay. What I like is it's not finding stuff out of the garbage like the original core or the original story had. You're actually just finding this stuff out in trucks and stuff. Like, I'm finding all these wristwatches. I'm not searching through the garbage for them. Which is really weird when you find, like, circular blades or anything like that bleach in the garbage. Like, that, I always found that strange. Alright, these are pick upable. Alright. Pick that up. Alright, is our objective actually to go to the church? I hear just a ton of zombies. Nice. 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 So yeah, definitely more infected. Um, I'm gonna start using the machete. I think the machete's better. It does way more damage. And since I am actually level 15 though, I don't have to worry about leveling up and having my weapons become terrible. Which is great because this way the zombies won't level up and all of that jazz. Which is great because then you don't really have to worry about weapons. You just have to make sure they don't run out of durability. Oh, Jesus Christ. Base, oh, that's fine. this is Colonel White. I just located what's left of Unit 4. Whoever attacked them, stripped them clean of everything. Weapons, ammo, explosives, everything. Copy that, sir. It's probably those local rascal gangs. They're taking advantage of this outbreak to, to loot whatever they can. Colonel, you need to find those stolen explosives and blow that bridge ASAP. I know that, base. I'm the one who sent them on the bloody mission. Anybody see anything from the air? Earlier we had reports of a large mob of armed civilians in the western area of Zone 3, not far from the central police station. Copy that base. Over and out. So now I have to go all the way over here. Alright. I'm not gonna get on that minigun. There was really no point. I wonder if I can just cut through here. Maybe. Hopefully. Maybe not. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to go over here. Definitely some uh, different settings because of all these barriers. But yeah, this machete does work. It's tearing through them. Now, as for, um, whoa, Andrew Meisner? All right, let's listen to this. Everyone's dead. The whole unit. It wasn't even the infect. Bloody rascal king. They took everything. Bastards didn't even kill me. 
And it's just left me here to bleed out in the street. Oh, this disease is gonna spread. There's no stopping it now. Not unless they mm -hmm. nuke the whole bloody island. Oh, I've got to crawl away from here before the infected find me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, one of them sees me. Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ, more of them. Oh my god! Alright, so just backstory. It kind of sucks that I had to stick there because the other voice recordings in the actual game, you can just pick up the recording and then run away. Off! So, yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this machete. These are metal baseball bats, so they're of no use for the Ripper mod, so I might not pick them up as, like, it's cuz. Um, hopefully there's a workbench somewhere, because I think I have the three wires. I think I have them. Wow, a suicider. Looks... different. <laughs> Pick up the cash. Get a snack. And break through here. Alright. It's obviously not going to break on the first go. There we go. Empty, empty, empty. Oh, I'm, I'm used to jumping and attacking like Zen May. Let's keep going here. Um, I'm gonna get on here just as a precaution. I hear infected below me, so might as well. Oh, sweet. Um, let's throw this down there. Hmm, there's a way to group them there. Totally should. Oh, I could have thrown it there. There's another explosive over there. I'm gonna jump towards this one. Here. Nice. Alright, perfect. I think this is actually my objective, so I don't even have to deal with them. Ooh, Molotovs. I'm just gonna throw away these weapons. I don't need them at all, actually. Especially the diving knives. Um, I will keep this machete. It's actually better than the one I... Nope, almost. Um, what else? What else? What else? Ordinary wrench I can kind of get rid of. Yeah. Um, I think that. I think we're pretty well set up. 